What's up YouTube, this is Alex AK Foreign. I haven't been making many videos recently, but this one has been in my head for quite some time now. So even though Nvidia recently announced their Pascal gaming cards, some people will want to buy the previous generation Maxwell GPUs anyway because the prices on those will drastically drop both new and used. The 970 is the most popular GPU on the market right now and I think it's bound to become even more popular in the coming months. But what to consider here is this, even though Nvidia has already launched their Pascal architecture, AMD hasn't launched Polaris yet. That means that the market has moved only half a step ahead. With the launch of Polaris, prices will definitely go down on the 300 series cards as well. That is when people should really start looking for previous gen GPUs and it's probably the right time to get the best bang for the buck card so to say, specifically for 1080p gaming. But when you're in the market for a new GPU, which one should you get? Searching the YouTubes for info on the 390 vs 970 debacle is full of conflicting opinions. People compare aftermarket cards, some are generally biased towards one or the other company, others use games that run better on one or the other card, and so on and so on. I'm going to talk about my personal opinion on this whole thing, and why I think the 390 is actually a better card right now. Unless you can find the 970 for 20-30% cheaper, the 390 is the better choice here in my opinion. My personal reasons for that would first of all be the higher amount of VRAM. 3.5GB effective VRAM versus 8GB is a huge difference and even though you won't be able to utilize all the 8 gigs of RAM, having that will never hurt, especially for the same or even lower price. You should also keep in mind that some games like the new Tomb Raider and even last year's Dying Light actually use more than 3 to 4 gigs of RAM at 1080p. Another reason that comes to mind is the simple fact that the 390 is 9 months younger than the 970, which means the life cycle of the 390 is longer if you buy it now, simply because it's been released later. And the last thing to consider is DX12 performance, which is now more or less confirmed to be somewhat worse on Maxwell cards. Now I wouldn't want to say that the 390 is a perfect card. As all people know, AMD sucks with overclocking right now, since their cards have been using the same base architecture for a few years now. Their cards also require pretty beefy power supplies because they love power. With time, the architecture has of course been improved, it is now more stable at higher clocks and more power efficient, but still doesn't reach the numbers that the 970 reaches with its 13 to 14 megahertz on the core clock, with the 200-300 series averaging around around 1100 only. My 280X is running at 1150, but I'm using the one with one of the best coolers, the Vaporx Tri-X from Sapphire with the vapor chamber, so I consider myself kind of lucky in this regard. This is in 1200 that some people achieve though, which makes both the 200 and 300 cards absolute beasts. Another interesting thing to consider is that the higher the overclock on the card, the higher the power consumption. When you should really consider the 970 over the 390 is when it is far cheaper. If you need the Nvidia exclusive features, it is best to save a bit more money and go for the 1070 at this point, which is supposed to be close to the 980 Ti or even Titan X in terms of performance, depending on the overclock you manage to get on the GPU. If what I'm talking about is interesting to you, then consider both subscribing and checking out some very cool tech YouTubers in the video description below. I thank you for your attention and hope to see you later.